guys, this is Annie. I hope you all are doing great tonight. And tonight I have this quick and easy kaleidoscope looking mani for you guys. So stick around and let's get started. And here are the items that we will be needing tonight. I will run through them very quickly with you, but they will also be listed in the description box if you need further details. I have my nail polishes, including my fast drying polish, my base coat, my four stamping polishes, and here I have my stamping plate, my scraper, and my stamper, and some nail studs that I will be using. For my tools, I have my cotton with my cotton claw. I have my little wax pencil that I will be using to pick up my studs. If you don't have one of these, grab yourself a nice pair of tweezers. I have my nail polish remover pen, and I also have a pair of tweezers that I will be using to remove my liquid latex off my fingers. So if you're not using liquid latex, you don't necessarily need to have that tweezer unless you need it for picking up your jewels or studs. And here I also have some pure acetone to clean my stamping plate with and a roller tape brush to clean my stamper with. So let me get myself together to get stamping. Be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back and I have already gone ahead and applied my black base polish and tonight I have used Sally Hanston Insta Dry and the number of that polish was 360 and it's called Black to Black and I have done one thick coat of this and it is thoroughly dried. It took about 15 minutes but it is completely, completely dried and the first thing I would like to do before we move on to the actual stamping is go ahead and apply my nail studs to that ring fingernail and tonight I am using little square studs of the same colors that I will be stamping with so as usual how I like to go about and do this is apply one good thick layer of my fast drying top coat to that nail and immediately put those studs in and tap them down to secure them and for picking up those studs I have my favorite little tool here which is my wax pencil and I just pick them up like this line them up starting from the bottom and just tap them down to secure them in that polish as best as you can as you can see it's moving about but do it as best as you can and the next color would be the blue And then the yellow. Go back and tap them down a little. That one actually lifted. So we'll just. And immediately after that, again, I'll apply another layer of top coat to secure that in. And we'll come back and apply more layers as we go along. Because, like I always mention, I like to lock these little things in. Um, if you lock them in properly, they would stay for a very long time. The last manicure I did for you guys with my gems on it, they actually stayed on for a complete week and a half because I was on vacation and I didn't even need to do my nails because I've top coated it so well and locked those jewels in. So if you do go ahead and put a nice thick layer of that top coat in, your manicure does definitely last longer. And also if you put a nice thick layer of the top coat over these jewels they also lock that in for a longer period of time they do not fall out that's why I usually do the top coat about two or three times alright so now that's done we will go on to moving the stamping and tonight I have my bundle monster plate that I will be using and that number is BMS312 and the image I'll be using off this is this one here because I like that image for the kaleidoscope look that we're doing I am also using my stamping polishes from Bound and Monster, and these names will be listed at the bottom for you. It is yellow, pink, green, and blue. And these are all Bound and Monster stamping polishes, and they're very, very great polishes. I am also using my Bound and Monster scraper, which happens to be my favorite, and I'm using my transparent squishy stamper so I could line these up very well. So with that said, let's get started. 
So I'm going to just take my polishes and make a couple dots all over the image. Be a little generous with the, the polish because you do want them to fill the image up as you scrape. yellow next and the green and just spread them out you know for whatever you think you want the colors to be then I'm gonna scrape now how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna scrape the top and then go back and start at the top and scrape. I'm not scraping twice over the entire image. I'm just doing it at the top first. So here's my first little scrape. And then I'm scraping it back at the top and then moving the entire thing down. There you go. So I'm only scraping twice at the very top so I could fill in that gap from where nail polish was not there. And then I'm rolling it over. And there you have the image. And now I'll just line it up as best as you can do this. Line it up. I'll see if I can get this on camera for you. Let me do it all first and then I'll show you. So there it is. I lined it up as best as I could. And then I'm going to roll it on. So this is a really good reason to have one of these transparent stampers because you could really see what you're working with there. And you just lift it off. And as you can see, some of the nail polishes are lifted off. It's not a problem. Just go in and tap it down. And we'll let that set and we'll move on to the next. guys and now that we are done stamping we can go ahead and remove that latex and the reason why I like to do it now is because you don't want to go ahead and do your top coat first and then peel the latex off because all those little polishes from the images that fell on the latex can fall back on your top coat when you're done so this is the best time to remove those latex and the easiest way to do it is go around the nail. So just pinch the end of that and go around the nail as I'm doing here and that will remove it. And I will go ahead and continue doing that for the next three nails. And at this point, as you can see, most of the nail polishes that was around the fingers, they were gone, but we still have a little bit here and there. And that's why I like to use the nail polish pen, the remover pen here, or you can even use a piece of scotch tape and that'll help remove that. And you just go in and carefully remove the polishes you can also use a brush for this but you go in and you carefully remove that excess nail polish from around the cuticles there and your fingers but be very careful not to touch that nail because seeing that you're using the polish remover it will definitely 
get some of that stamping that you just worked so hard on. So take your time when you're doing this and just go in and clean up around the edges as I'm doing. So now that we're done doing that, let me go ahead and grab my top coat and we'll top coat these nails and that should be the end of our manicure. Be right back. Alright guys, so here I have my favorite fast drying top coat by Out The Door and it is a nice thick top coat and I do recommend that you, you always polish your nails with a thick top coat after the stamping and the reason for that is you paint the nails with the top coat you do less damages to the images that you just polished on. Um, if your top coat is thin be careful once you're applying it you don't want to press down on the brush because that could smear the images and your hard work you just put in on the nails and also if you have a nice thick top coat that kind of gives it a barrier between the brush and your nails so it doesn't scrape it too much to ruin the image and when you apply it try not to swipe over the same spot twice and always be generous with your top coat also cap the ends of your nails like I'm doing right now the tips of my nails there I'm capping that that would help to save your manicure from wear and tear from the tips go up so I'll continue doing that I'm also going to go over those jewels one more time and as you can see I'm applying a lot of the top coat on these jewels because again I like to lock them in and by applying two three layers of the top coat that really does help me I like I said I went on vacation for about a week and a half and the nail polish was not ruined when I got back nor did the jewels fall out so this really does help to be very generous with your top coat and go over those gems or studs or whatever it is you're using go over them a couple times with the top coat and I'll continue doing the rest for the next three nails So that's it guys I like this manicure I think it's a more of a kaleidoscope look and I really enjoy that look and as usual if you have any questions you know feel free to write to me I'll answer them as best as I can and don't forget to subscribe for my upcoming videos as well thanks for watching everyone and have a good night now bye bye